welcome back um this is our last week yeah our last week of no july do we have one more no this is our last week are you sure no i think this is our last i think this is our last book but i don't know if this is the last week of july maybe we messed that up because isn't next week also july the 30th isn't that a tuesday I don't. I think know. we fucked up. I don't know the. What's July again? What's the the thirtieth the is a Tuesday, so oh. we should have had an extra. <laughs> oh, well, fuck. So we're wait, I thought we were behind though, because no. you fucked up the days in June. No, we just skipped. We we skipped a book, like we skipped a day, so we're not behind. The anyway. We will have, this is our last week of Canadian romances. We should have had one more, but we um, have no idea what day it is, apparently. And I, I can't take another, I can't take another book. <laughs> I'm already in August. So, um, this is our last Canadian romance. We took a dark fantasy. Yeah. For this one. And this week we read A Ship of Bones and Teeth by Karina. Is it Hale? I think it's Hale. That's how I've been pronouncing it in my head, um, which is a Little Mermaid retelling. But like, well, I would say I would Little say Mermaid, and then like Captain Hook. Yeah, are there pirates in the law? Or no, there isn't. No. I would consider this like a reimagining. Wait, unless you count when Prince Eric shipwrecked the first time. I think no. Is that a storm or was that pirates? Storm. Because she saves him from the storm. Um, or the Disney version. The dis- I guess. I mean, the Disney version, she turns into sea foam. Or the uh, non The real version, ver- she just dies, yeah. The sea foam, yeah. Um, Depressing anyway. note. It th- yeah, so this is a Little Mermaid. I feel like reimagining is maybe a little more accurate. Sure. Because um, Eric is a bad guy. It's a wife beater. <laughs> Um, spoiler. Uh, spoiler, he fucking sucks. Do we want to go start with our tropes? Sure. Okay, so fancy. Wait, did we say the book? Yeah, she put bones of teeth. Oh. <laughs> My brain you, is this is the second week you've done that, where you've been like, wait, did we say a book we're reading? Um, okay, fantasy. Yeah. Enemies to lovers. Yeah. Monster. Paranormal. This isn't paranormal. I would consider this fantasy because it's a whole like fantasy universe. But he's a vampire. Yeah, but vampires can't be fantasy. That's urban fantasy. I don't think traditional fantasy there's vampires. I'm pretty sure there is. No, I'm pretty sure vampires are a very urban fantasy kind of thing. This is a monster romance, yeah. Because they have sex when she's a mermaid. That was a turn. (laughs) Um... What else? Uh, road trip? Sure. If you count, if a, if it's not really a road, it's a sea. <laughs> but it's, uh, same thing. Um, pirates. Is pirates a trope? I think so. Um, is there like, I'm trying to think of like how to word this. Like a, quest like does that count because like adventure mate yeah i guess adventure because it's like kind of a quest to like find something specific yeah i'm I'm gonna go Um, quest found family yep that's another one good one i feel like that's the big ones um i mean she's a hostage so stockholm syndrome but was and, she ever really like? Uh, not really. Like, was she ever really in danger? No, I mean, no. I don't really think so. She could. I mean, there was secret a, identity. Oh yeah, there was a. Hmm. Would you consider this? I mean, a, fa- a retelling. I guess is another. Yeah. I mean. She was kind of in danger. Yeah, I guess when she, like, didn't realize that she could still 
yeah. shift. She can still claw people's hearts out. She. Yeah. I want to circle back to that scene. Okay. Um, Kay. Trigger warnings. Um, lots of eating hearts. It's pretty graphic. Yeah. Uh, um, wife beater. Uh huh. Um, so like domestic abuse. Oh, kids dying. Oh yeah. Fuck. We ain't afraid of kids kill kids in this book. This is another like dead dove. I think specifically for the, the the kid dying. Like not only do we talk about his kid being dead, but, but a kid also dies a kid in this. Totally gets like headshot. Yeah, it's actually very very graphic. Yeah, and sad. Yeah. Um I mean there's a description of like skin melting, not melting, but like oh, laying yeah, the, off. You mean of the the, the skeleton people? Like whether that like, and then just, when like, what surge when he's on the island he starts to be quote unquote affected by the curse yes so then his skin starts to kind of fool like like yeah it starts to like slide off his bones yeah yeah like gra- I would definitely say I graphic. mean by the end of that by the end of this book that <laughs> his physical appearance is like fully affected at this point no no he, the curse got reversed. But, like, so what does happens to the skin? Does the skin just, like, shift back? Yeah, I like guess Like, Botox? So. Magic, dude. Magic. Um, okay. So, the rating on this book is a 3.83. I feel like it's a little low. I mean... I took this to be closer to a 4. Like, a 4.3 or 4.03 well, or something. I don't know, because it's, like, this is a particular cup of tea for fantasy why would you say that because it's dark no i think it's like um this also only has just over like thirteen thousand ratings i expect this to be rated higher but like mermaids are not a thing that's done do you know what i mean like that no it used to be like if you old published books a lot of a lot of mermaids a lot of pirates but now it's like but not now, a thing. Yeah, people it's weird. People don't write it. Should um, be a thing. But I don't know. I don't know because like I think fantasy is just so like runs off vibes. You know, like if you are an Akatar girly, I don't know if you would absolutely love this book. Oh, why do you say that? I haven't read Akatar, so because the vibes. No, it's just kind of like if you like the Fae and you like the like magic. Like, the, like, everyone has a specific power, and everyone's got to save the world, and, like, we got to save the kingdom. That kind of magic-y vibe? Fantasy vibe? Oh, yeah, this is not that. You're not going to like that. This is If dark. you like fourth wing kind of thing, you're not going to like this. This is, like, she's out ripping people's hearts out because she fucking likes it. <laughs> this has very similar vibes to those who, like... Uh, the Harley Leroux series, the the okay. urban fantasy, the, the demon ones. Yeah, what is the Souls? The Souls trilogy. Uh, I have no idea what the trilogy uh, is like called. Like Soul Her for soul. Revenge, Soul f- to Take, and Soul of a Witch. Like this, I would say if you like that urban urban fantasy or, or paranormal, you'd like this. Similar vibes of like murderous women. I mean, yeah, I'm like if you've read any other Katrina Hale books. They're all her fantasy urban... Or, like, on the darker side. I wouldn't consider this super dark, though. It's just graphic. No, it's just graphic, yeah. Or, I mean, besides the, like, abuse section of it. Yeah, like, the beginning. Yeah. Where, like, yeah, she's getting, like, abused by Eric. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's not... It's like a... It's... There's also threats of rape in this, actually. Yeah. Yeah, of that one guy. Yeah, the guy who tries to take a mutiny. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, mutiny. What? What it? Of the ship. What is the past tense of mutiny? To mutin to to like to throw a mutiny. I don't know what's the singular. You know what I'm talking about? No. Like <laughs> mutiny is the act. Like the like I'm like this is mutiny, but like to. 
like two mutant. <laughs> I don't know. Moments. I don't know what you're. A mutiny, it's doing, yeah, like, like that's moose, what I mean. Like moose is moose and moose is but like, like mute. Mutiny is the, an action, but like I just feel like thing. that doesn't work in the sentence. What I was trying to say, whatever, whatever. My brain's mush. The heat's melting it. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, should I read the back of the book? Yeah. A standalone dark fantasy pirate retelling. Of the Little Mermaid from the New York Times bestselling author of River of Shadows and Blood Orange. Princess Marin is a woman with a secret. Ten years ago, she sold her soul to a sea witch, Edonia, giving up a life underwater in exchange for the love of Prince Eric on land. But after a decade of abuse and misery inflicted by the cruel prince, Marin wants nothing more than to leave him behind and her royal role behind. Leave him and her royal role behind and find Edonia to reverse the cur- the spell. An opportunity for escape presents itself when the prince and princess are traveling overseas and are taken hostage by a band of notorious pirates. Led by the fearsome Captain Ramsey, Bones Batista, Marin has heard the sordid stories about the infamous pirate. Not only is his ship supposedly haunted and crew to be damned, crew by the damned, but that no prisoners ever survive. Fortunately for Marin, she learns that the captain also has a score to settle with the sea witch. With any luck, Marin may be able to get her her old life back, even if it's being held in the captain's wicked hands. But Ramsey gets more than he bargained for when he learns who and what Marin is, and that her appetite for revenge, freedom, and bloodlust rivals his. Meanwhile, Marin finds herself falling for the pirate's dark nature, even as she discovers that Ramsey has a secret more deadly than her own. When it comes to the high seas, not all monsters lurk beneath the surface. That was long. That was long. Also, um, oh, I was just going to say there's another trigger warning. What was the other trigger warning that just prompted me from this? Or a uh, trope. I don't have to think about this. It's going to come to me. Okay. Um, I have no idea what, what part you're talking about. So It had to do with Ramsey. Anyway, what did like the amount of names this dude has? Oh yeah, I kept getting confused when they called them Bones, and I was like, they call him Bones, they call him Ramsey, they call him Batista. Yeah, what is she? She calls him Ramsey sometimes, mostly Ramsey. And then when she's mad, she calls him Captain. I thought that was, I liked that. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, I remember my thought. And. I, I'm trying to think of where I want to start. I was surprised. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. So, Eric's a piece of shit. Yeah. And she's basically like, maybe I'll eventually kill myself. She's kind of like thought about like maybe I'll just throw myself off the ship and let the sea take me. Tried to, and then Ramsey saved her yeah because basically she's like honestly at this point best case scenario i swim to shore worst case scenario i I die in the sea i sink to the bottom and that's where i should die like i should die where i was like so she's kind of like submitted herself to being in this shitty situation and then the boat gets boarded by pirates or anything what the term is uh, overtaken by pirates and they're like or they get invaded by pirates they take all the staff everybody prisoners except like maybe a handful they kill a couple they kill almost everybody they kill a couple they send a couple to shore to like tell the tale and then they take the rest of them to well they as she assumed at the beginning as prisoner for ransom yes they're actually food but yeah, the the vampire. I honestly, I did not see that coming. No, me neither. That was my. That was what I was trying to like. I did not see because like, that coming at all. When so I was shocked. So it kind of like, like I guess like red herrings happen because like the one when she's like trying to figure out how to get off the ship, she runs into the prisoner thing. One of the prisoners, and so like one of the one of Prince Eric's. Like, what would you call footmen? His footmen? 
It was like one of his like manservants. <laughs> um, and then he's like, you got to kill me because like what they're doing to us is far worse than like death itself. Like they're torturing us. And like and like even her maid was like they're monsters they're monsters and she's just like so they're torturing them like they're not giving them food they're like yeah so she doesn't actually realize that and then, they're bleeding them dry yeah and then she get, and they just leave the bodies in they just like pile them up they don't just like why not just toss them over like toss them overboard like if they're dead bleed them dry and toss the dead why would you they just have piles like of piles bodies. of dead bodies it's, in it's the bottom of their ship. Absurd because it's also like, do Ew. they not smell that? Oh, they've said that it smells down there. Yeah, and then nobody it, wants to go down there. But whatever. So it's like they end up on the, the island, and she's like, "I'm gonna get away," and he's just like, "She's not gonna get away with away from me." And I was just like, "Oh, because he thinks he, she's just not smart enough to run away from him. Like she's a fucking mermaid who can like claw his heart out." And then he catches up to her and he's like, I can eat you. <laughs> Cause he like kills someone in front of her, does he not? No. She figures it out when Oh, does she doesn't he, he she tells figure it out her. before he she runs away and then yeah, she runs away from him? He tells her because she says I'm a mermaid and he says I'm a vampire and then she's like, fuck. But it's not a vampire technically. No. Or it's vampire written weird. It's, the, it's a vampire written in fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. What is the actual term for it? I, I don't remember. Because she was like, wait, term. so you're a lamprey? Which is oh, like yeah. a fish. And he's like, like, yes, but no. Like, I'm not a fish, but yeah. Because, <laughs> like, basically, they... Vamp... Mermaid blood is like super powerful, so they want like magical. It gives them powers. So, but only for short periods of time. So, like basically, as I digest it, they it's get like superpower. A, it's like taking a five-hour energy shot. So, they try to hunt mermaids for their blood because it makes them like super powerful to like get shit done, basically. And he's like, "We need to find a mermaid, take her blood, and then defeat the witch because it'll be so strong that we can defeat the witch." Problem is, they don't even know what the fucking witch is. Yeah, I, I. I, it was just like their, log- their logical planning of like, it was kind of just like. It so was very the, half-baked. The plan is to find the witch. But along the way, if we find a mermaid, that would be great. But we don't know when we're going to find the witch. So we would just have to keep this mermaid alive. Yeah. Because basically, okay, so. Captures everyone on their ship. Eric and her become like hostages. ransom hostages because he thinks they can like basically get money on top of. The fact that now that they have food for the next, like, however many months. Yeah. So, puts them together, realizes that Eric is beating her, and then he's like... Okay, but that Eric's, like, thought process behind, like, we're prisoners, so I'm just gonna continue to beat my wife is, like, absolutely I mean, absurd. I mean, I think if you're I a just, wife beater, I don't think you discriminate given when? your situation. I think you're just a wife beater. It's just, like, you wouldn't want to appeal, like... He's going to take all of his, but he's going to take his frustrations out on your wife if that's the person that's there. So that made sense to But me. it's also just, like, I don't understand why he, because, like, the more you devalue her, well, he, in, he doesn't mind, think she's valuable, though. But, like, they're both ransom. That's the problem. It's, like, I mean, that's Eric's problem is he doesn't have a fucking brain, but. Because, basically, Ramsey's, like, o- already attracted to her, and then is, like, I'll just take her. And then puts her in a cell in his own room. And they yeah. do this, like, we're enemies, but we're, like, insta-lusty. Yeah. So then they've always got, like, a thing going on. Eventually, he ends up, like, claiming her as property. Which, like... But is Eric... Before the brand is, like, that when Eric's still alive? Yes, Eric's still alive. And then, basically, they track down this, like, cursed ship... That it's an has, island, though. They've docked on the island that belongs to but another it's, witch. It's tethered to the island. They can't go far from the island. Or it's like called back or something. Like they can travel, but eventually the witch is like, na, 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 and well, calls it back. They, they start to die when they get too far from the island. No, they're just bones. Like they're just skeleton. Yeah, but they start to die because the witch is what's keeping them alive. Oh, I don't know if that was. I don't remember that part. But it's not like the Black Pearl here. Come they on. basically. 
this is so Pirates of the Caribbean. This is like literally Pirates of the Caribbean. Vibe no, I did. Time reading it? But you saying that out loud reminded me that this is the point. Like, this is literally a mix of Little Mermaid and Pirates of the Caribbean mixed together. It's like, you know, the second Pirates of the Caribbean, or is it second or third, where like What's His Face becomes the captain? Um, at the end, Orlando Blue. The thing? Yes. It's like that, but in a book with mermaids. I think that's the third one. But that's this. That's like the whole vibe of this book. Basically, like, so then they track on this, this, this ship, the skeleton crew ship, because they hear that they've got a mermaid. They're like, we're going to steal this mermaid. Turns out mermaid's basically dead because they've already, like, drained her She's of blood. She's, like, fully rotting in, like, her heart's still pumping, but she's like her brain's still functioning. Basically, but she dead. is rotting alive because she's got no like. They haven't fed her. She's been drained of blood. There, turns, she's in this like disgusting aquarium. Yeah, it turns out it's Marin's sister because Marin is a is a Royalty. princess. She's like I the youngest very, of three. Very uncertain of how many sisters she had. It was three. She said there was three of them. So, and that was her oldest sister. So she would have taken the crown. I didn't like that it was a sister. I was kind of hoping it would be the sister, but you to be honest. that emotional. I guess to, so. To activate her claws. Because basically the sister is dying. And mermaids kisses, like, can bring you back to life. I guess. But it's, like, kind of like usually when they drown men. They kiss like, them to bring them back to life. Fuck them. So then they can, like, tear their heart out. Still beating heart. I see. So I then think. basically her sister kisses her, which somehow like activates her like half mer like she's like then half mermaid. She just can't she doesn't have her fins. She's just basically like a mermaid in human form. Yeah. So she can like breathe underwater. She can like She gets her gills back, she her, gets her gills, teeth come back and her claws, but she just doesn't have her tail. Her tail. And then she Marin realizes that and just fucking Well, Eric is just like He's like, why are you fucking by the, the mermaid? You're so disgusting. And she's just like, fuck you. One of my favorite parts is Ramsey comes in and Marin's literally eating his heart. And he's like, oh, I guess that hostage is dead. And like is so unfazed. He's just like, that's inconvenient. Yeah. He literally is, is not like, oh, this woman is eating more her curious on like how she ripped out his still beating heart. And it took him a while to figure out she was eating his heart. And he's just like. Huh. Curious. That's weird. <laughs> and then he's like, okay, go back to your cage now. Like, he's so unfazed by but it. She was, he was also like, do you eat hearts often? She's like, no. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's good, right? <laughs> and he just, like, is so unfazed by it. Like, he, if anything, he's more like, well, this took an unexpected turn. Okay. I think he was, like, curious. He hot. Yes. I think he was turned on. He was like, I found him more attractive Okay. How did you feel about the the chain scene like the sex scene yeah i mean it wasn't it was like a little rapey a little rapey yeah and i wasn't like a hundred percent sold but it wasn't so was biting her and then he gets like he like go like loses control basically and almost drains her yeah well maybe not almost but like he's and then he leaves her there yeah just hanging. Which I think was my least favorite part. And then Serge comes in. He's like, oh. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a different guy. It's a different, like, youngster. Because she, like. Oh, one of the kids. Yeah, compels him to, like. Um, I just. Yeah. I just. It wasn't my favorite. It was, like, hot. But I just. It was like, a little. A little rapey. Yeah. And, like. I mean, can you have a pirate romance without some rapey scenes? I guess that's true. Totally and, like, it's not like she didn't like it. She did, and she was, like, all for it. She basically asked for it. But, like, the chains part was, like, meh. Um, also, how did you feel about the explanation of, like, kids are born vampires, but women don't become, like, vampire basically until, well, like, not- 25 it- and then... 35 for men it's like 26 and like 35 35 so it like for every like quote unquote born vampire book it's kind of like that where like women meet oh you just stop aging okay at like earlier than men i guess that is a very 
Twilight. That's the only other Not book Twilight. that I can think of that that had that happen. What? Yeah. With her kid. Anyway. I thought that was interesting. Um Okay, let's talk about the weird So there's two plot lines. Like there're multiple plot lines in this thing. One of them is the witch, the witch, the bad witch. There is another witch, which Who's is also a, a plot line. Good witch. Oh, they're all related. Everyone, everyone's related. And then there's the evil captain of the navy. Yeah, that I wasn't was sure like how I felt about that plot line. Well, it just felt like it wasn't needed. So that's like kind of like leads into my like least favorite part of like we had so many plot lines and then they like. They just, like, tied up so quickly at the end. Like, they like all yeah. the plot lines tie up in the last hundred pages of this book. Like, I kind of wish and this was this- two books, and book one was the captain plot line, and book two was the witch plot line. Well, yeah. Because it's also book. just, like, they don't even... So they, like, keep running into the captain. They thought the captain was dead, but he wasn't. Um... But then the witch just like appears, like it's not yeah. like they were out like they knew that we she- are hunting for the witch. They knew there was a, an area where she usually stayed in, but it was just like the kraken appeared, kidnaps Marin, and then like, I mean, they must have recognized the ship though. What ship? Like, I think the the witch recognized the ship because she killed the sister and the daughter. Originally. So I think that the witch, the bad witch, well, recognized. Yeah. And they've also been, like, sailing on this ship for, like, ever. What? Hundreds of years? How old is Ramsey? It sounds like, yeah. He's, like, 300 his years old. His dad also was the one that, like... No, they stole this ship. Yeah, but though. his dad's the one that stole the ship, yeah. originally. I, yeah. I was, I was not sure how I felt about... I guess the reason the captain thing had to happen was because otherwise the kid didn't die. And I feel like they needed that, like, heartstring... Mean, did we thing. need the kid to die? I don't think we did. I don't know. Because you ended up having the sister-in-law die. Sam died anyway. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people do die in this book. Well, I assume Sam died simply because they, she ended up wanting to give the brother a book at some point. But he's not. he doesn't have a book. Well, he doesn't have a book yet. Oh, yeah. Look, she just released. I honestly, when, when I... Well, when... Because when she announced she's releasing another book... I was expecting those characters to show up because to be, I was expecting it to be like the brother's book, but it actually is Lamar's book. No, like when she announced that the, the second book, which is ocean of sin and starlight is she put a thing out being like, you can read this. If you don't want spoilers for the The first first one, then you should read that one first, but it is a standalone. And I was like, oh, they're going to be, be the book. they're going to be interweave. No, I knew it was, a. Mer- I knew it was. I didn't know that. I didn't know that until no, I literally I looked it up after we read this book and was like, well, oh, I knew when the book was coming out and it had none of these characters in it. Mm. Uh, but I was assuming that like, at least the guy priest in it was going to show up because like, I just thought they were going to be, like, more overlappy. But no, like, that book, j- the second book just happens, like, after. Or, like, she was going to th- find her sister. Or yeah, something. I think it happens after the series but, like, of this. I don't know. When it was, like, like, the little blurb was, like, if you don't want spoilers for the first book, don't read this I mean, one we first. We haven't read the second book yet, so we can't say. But, like, I was just expecting them to be, like, interwoven a little bit more. But I, I guess so. I... Yeah, I wasn't sure how I felt about also like the dad dies, the sister dies, and then her other sister is missing, and the whole kingdom just goes under. Yeah. I w- was kind of hoping that it would still be there, but I guess then as a, then she'd be torn to not stay with Ramsey, and they needed there needed to be a for sure her being like, oh, there's nothing for me to go back to. Ramsey's my choice. Do you know what I mean? Well, I thought there would be like mermaid still like. In the area, but no, like the kingdom Living is just the, like yeah. The only empty. thing left is, is her shark. That was actually the fucking cutest thing. I was like, oh, the shark lived, and he's gonna be with them forever. Yay! But she was like, oh, we're just gonna follow behind the ship. Ram's like, uh, she's you like, have the shark with you. She's yeah, like, he's like, what's what's with the shark? 
she's like, oh yeah, this, this is, is a... Bill. And he's like, okay, sure. And they're like, well, we can't bring a shark aboard. And she's like, don't worry about He'll it. He'll convoy. And he's like, right. <laughs> okay, well, we're going that way. And she's like, okay, we'll follow. It was like, it was cute though. I did like that. I was so glad the shark came back because I was like, when she carried the, the just... tooth around, I was like, this shark better yeah. fucking come back. Shark. It redeems the fact that we just came off a dead dog book and this yeah. shark lived. If the shark had also died, it we kill lived. children in this book, but we do not kill pets. sharks. We don't kill the pets. We don't kill the pets. Um. Also, okay, before we go on to our favorite and more really favorite, how did we feel about the mermaid sex? It was definitely like I was not expecting it, but I wasn't. So I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not I don't upset. know. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think I was expecting him to fuck her when she was in fish form yeah also he's like i realize that maybe this is normal for you but where do i put it yeah he's <laughs> like, where does it go <laughs> and she's like oh it goes here i thought that was really funny because that's never fucking talked about and i was like it makes sense that she's like it's in her scales and he's like oh this makes sense i didn't hate it i was actually kind of here for it but i was unexpected it's like a cock pocket but but i'm not not because it's an actual vagina. It's just a it's, vagina pocket. Yeah. I, yeah, I was here for it. I just was not expecting actual mermaid sex in this. Yeah. I like how, because he can breathe underwater, he's like not going to die. So like it, yeah, it's like safe for him to be under there. Obviously he needs to breathe at some point, but. Well, cause she kisses him and it like gives him the ability to like breathe does it not no i thought that he always could breathe and he was oh. like oh how do you like how are you holding your breath and she's like uh <laughs> no i literally thought she was she gave him that ability no because the brother jokes about how like he he'll be fine he just has to be conscious i thought the reason they he would be fine was because he just like it's you have to chop their heads off or rip their hearts out to kill them yeah so like he'd be fine but like, because he can breathe underwater, or he doesn't I need to breathe because he he's already dead. I guess. Um. Okay, let's go to least favorite. So, what was your least favorite part again? Just the fact that like all the the storylines, the storylines just like come to conclusion like. Bah, 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 bah. I kind of wish it was a duet. I feel like this as a duet would have been good, where it was like book one is them getting together and defeating the, um. The captain? the captain and then book two is like them tackling something together i just kind of wish the captain didn't come out of nowhere i wish it was kind of like they just like gave little hints of like mm, there's a ship i think is following us or like yeah they spot a ship just like a couple times and they're like mm, that's odd it was just like he's the captain's mentioned as a bad guy and then it's like and he's here <laughs> yeah yeah that's fair i think my least favorite part is the kid dying I just feel like it didn't, or Sam dying. Yeah, I, Why I think to kill the only, only lady in the book. I know. I also feel like, without having the announcement of the brothers' book, like Thane's book, I don't understand why Sam had to die. Like, I get the kid having to die for the yeah. sake of like pulling at Ramsey's heart str- like strings and like making them like, I I can justify that in my brain, but. Without there being an announcement of Thane's book, I don't get why Sam had to die. Yeah. Because I feel like that's the only reason you'd kill her off. Is that now there's a... Now Thane gets a book. And then originally, when she announced her the new book, I assumed it was going to be the sister and Thane. No. But it's like a totally other random vampire yeah. guy. Totally other ram- vampire priest. Yeah. Um. Okay, what was your favorite part? Um, fuck, I had it in my head, and now I've totally forgotten what my favorite part is. I think mine is just, like, the banter between the two of them is so oh, yeah. good, where he's like, I love when you're vicious, and she's like, I just love you. that she just, like, ripped people's hearts out. And he's, like, turned on by it. I just love it, because it's like, it's, you, you always get that, that, like, oh, she's bloodthirsty, oh, she's, like... You know, she's vicious, and then it's kind of just like... There's never actually on-page evidence. No, it's like fully, like, she kills more people than he does in this book. Like, she fully is, like, 
ripping people's hearts out, eating cutting people's them. throats, literally eating them. Remember yeah. at one point when they're throwing the crew off the boat and she's like, I can't do anything but eat all these people. So she's just casually eating the people that are being thrown off the, like the captain's boat. Cause she can't go up there and save them. So like they're throwing people off. And then she's just eating people, like just eating hearts out of like the sailors. And then, then the witch shows up and mm. is like, oh yeah, but you have Kraken control. And she's like, cool. Oh yeah. Cause she's like, I'm not hungry anymore, but like, I don't know what else I can do besides kill these people that are already in the water. Oh yeah. I just, yeah. The banter between the two of them is so good. It's like, he just gets turned on by her like bloodthirstiness. She's unapologetically like who she is he's like kind of cheeky and I like it like at the end when he's like the his brother's like oh are you guys gonna have kids and he's like you know I'm kind of surprised by how much I'm come inside her that she's not pregnant yet and his brother's like I didn't need to know that he's just like Ramsey's one of my favorite characters the entire thing he's just hilarious but also like question this is side note so he lives forever, but she's like, I live maybe 300 years. And I understand that she's only like 26. So like they still yeah. have 300 years together. Yeah. But it's just like, what, what's going to happen one day? I mean, when... he married a human though. Like his no, old like, wife was just a human. I thought she was a, she was only half. Oh, that's why she, she was just a human. I don't know. Cause she tried, died in childbirth. Yeah. So like, I don't know what the plan was there either. I guess they just found, form no attachments with Sam. Is Sam a vampire? He's a vampire, yes. yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Good question. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think that was a concern for them. I think there's like, we've got three. I mean, years. it's brought up, though. Is it? Because he's like, she's like, so do you guys like die? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and he's like, no, I can live forever unless I'm like killed. And then she's like, oh, mermaids usually live to, like, 300. Yeah. And you can't, like, turn someone, I guess. No, you just have mermaids. Just, I guess. If he just dies at 300 with her? Maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, what was your favorite part? I guess when she, like, rips Eric's heart out. Because you're just like, I just can't wait for her to, like. Kill this fucker? S- yeah or beat him up or something but no was i expecting it also went from zero to a hundred yeah was i expecting her to rip his heart out no but i loved it i loved every second of that i i also loved the shark the shark coming back i was like yes thank fucking god because someone had to live through this but also did the shark talk to her in like the prologue because yes oh yeah the shark did talk to her because remember she says that she can communicate with animals that's why she could talk to the cat but then she never, which the, ta- until the cat the, never responded until she, but she never talked to it after she had turned back into a full mm. mermaid. Cause when the, the sharks started talking to her in her brain, I was like, I, I don't remember. remember that happening. Yeah, no, that happened. That did happen in the prologue. Um, okay. What was your overall rating? I give this a four. I give this a five. I wasn't really in the mood for something like dark fantasy. So maybe in the moment it was a four, but this is like, if I read this in like September, I would have been all over this. So I gave it a five. I think this is a good book. I also think I might buy this like physically and reread this because this was a good book. I liked the storyline. I liked that it was a standalone. It does have a lot going on, but I feel like that's also a very fantasy thing. Um, what was okay would you reread this i mean yeah i can go back to it i'm also excited to read um the next book like lamar's book i think it's i think it's pronounced lamar I'm trying to think of how it's Lemaire? spelled lamar i don't know it's a girl I name huh it's a girl name so it's gonna be girly i lamar guess so marin like- isn't i like the name marin i don't yeah. like the name ramsey that's my only beef to pick with that is that's i, I don't like that name i guess Um, Would you recommend? Uh, Yeah, I think I would recommend. Would what's your steam rating? Like a three. Like once they start fucking, they don't stop, right? I mean, yeah, the mermaid sex also just like (laughs) I would I would give this three to a three and a half to be honest. 
I mean, it's a long book, though. It is so. a long book. This is, like, almost 600 pages. So it's, like, steam to pages? Because they don't start having sex until, like, 3... 30%? Not even 30%. Because Eric like, dies pretty like, early, though. Yeah. And they, they have sex, like, right after he dies. I think Maybe even before little... that. No, right no, after. No, no, that's after. She doesn't technically cheat on Eric. Um, okay. Would you, I, are you going to read the next one? Like na- yeah. ASAP? Well, not ASAP, but I will get, probably get to it before the summer's done. Yeah. Agreed. I, this feels like, does kind of feel like a summer read because like What's they're a on a, it's a mermaid and pirates. I feel like mermaids, I feel like mermaids and pirates should be summer reads. That should be the fantasy equivalent to cowboys. Cause um, cowboys are sure. summer. Didn't we read, did we read The Kingdom? Yes. This is honestly, if you're, if you're, if you liked, um, what was it? What was it called? To Kill a Kingdom? Um, this would be like the adult version of that. I mean, yeah. Because it's got like, obviously it's got sex in it. And she's just as murderous. Um, she's not called the Prince Slayer. Anyway, uh, do you have anything else to add about this book? Mm, I don't think so. Um, okay, then what are you reading right now? I'm reading, uh, I think it's called The Thrones Prisoner, which is the second book in the Holly Black series. Right. Um, I don't remember what the, th- the the series is called, but it's like, the spinoff from the folk of the air. Um, and I'm like a couple chapters in. I'm enjoying it. It's from Oak's point of view. You didn't get his point of view in the first one. Uh, but yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying it because I, I just like Polly Black's YA. So I'm reading the next podcast book still. Um, I guess it doesn't. We can announce it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're doing Wildfire by Hannah Grace. I'm reading that right now. Yeah. I have thoughts. We'll but we'll save it, it for the next week's pod. Um, about, I'm just over halfway. So I don't know what to read next, though. I feel like I want to read something summery. But then I'm also feeling fantasy now. So maybe I'll just maybe I'll just read The Ocean of Sin and Starlight next. Hmm. Maybe. Um, okay. Do you have anything else to add? I don't think so. Then, I guess, as per usual, rate, review, and subscribe to our podcast. We also have a discount code for the Modern Romantics Bookshop, my bookshop, uh, which is Sisters Beating Romance, no spaces, all caps. That gets you 10% off anything in the store. Um, So, fall box announcements start really soon. So, stay tuned for that. And then... We, uh, we're doing summer books for next month. Yes. The theme is just, they have to take place in the summer. <laughs> very is, broad. It's very, it is very broad. I think we have a good mix of, mix of things. Dark, contemporary, and. Is there a fantasy? I don't think we, I don't fantasy. think we picked a fantasy. No. Uh, no, I don't think we picked no. a fantasy. I think it's mainly just dark and. Um, contemporary. Maybe we'll do dark for not September. September is not spooky enough. I guess yeah. We could do we could do a dark theme in October. October is only two months away. That's just spooky crazy. books for October. Um. Anyway, that's all I've got. So if you have nothing else to add, we'll be back in your ears next week. Bye. Bye.